Hello, and thanks again for joining our podcast series, A Day in the Life of an Ethical Hacker. Today, we have another great interview for you. Joining Synex Tice Harrison is Ivana Tepacevic. She is from Kaljevo, Serbia, and has been a Synex Red Team member for over three years. For those new listeners not familiar with Synex, Synex is the most trusted crowdsourced security platform delivering comprehensive and continuous penetration testing. Synex combines the world's most skilled and trusted ethical hackers with AI-enabled technology to create a scalable, effective security solution. We hope you enjoy the interview. Now over to you, Tice. Thanks, Michelle. Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining this week's episode of our Day in the Life series. I'm very happy to welcome Ivana, who's with us today. Thanks for joining us from Serbia. How are you today, Ivana? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for asking. Um, Ivana, great to have you as our first Serbian SRT member on the podcast. That's very exciting for us. Um, you, as you're from Serbia, maybe you could tell us whereabouts you're from and what did you study there? Uh, currently, I'm in Kraljevo. I, it is my hometown city. Uh, it's a small city in central Serbia. But I studied in Belgrade, the capital of Serbia. I have graduated from Belgrade University with bachelor's in information systems and technologies. Great, very interesting. And how did you get into cybersecurity and ethical hacking with Synac? Um, I have started my career in cybersecurity as freelance penetration test for strategic security for John McRae. And with the team, I also developed the training materials for new courseware development for more advanced techniques used in today's security field. Uh, at the same time, I worked for NCR as part of Endpoint Security team. I worked on Endpoint Security solutions and implementation and maintenance of Endpoint solutions and security services for more than 100 banks and 4,000 ATMs across the United States. Uh, while working for NCR, I have become a member of Sinacred team and left the current job to pursue my career as freelance pen tester and bug bounty hunter. And uh, recently, I worked as senior application security analyst at eFront, a part of BlackRock, in order to upskill and gain more knowledge and experience on white box testing. Uh, nevertheless, I shortly left this job, uh, thus I can dedicate more time to pen test projects and bug bounty hunting as freelancer. Wow, that is a lot of experience. Um, so you're now a full-time freelancer. I'm guessing this means you are online a lot of the time. Can you tell me what a typical day looks like for you as a Red Team member? Um, I'm 24-7 online. Uh, uh, as a freelance pen tester, my work is flexible. And I can start working when I'm in focus, have energy, when I'm prepared to do tests. Uh, first, uh, at the beginning of the day, I check emails, messages, and chats on Slack. We have seen a Slack chat channel, so we are all on chat. After that, I'm not if I'm not involved in some testing of some target, I start looking for target to test on platforms. So that's yep. And uh, you've been an SRT member for over a year now. So, do you have a particular vulnerability type that you like to focus on, and if so, why? Um, I am a SRT member for over three years now. Uh, I found a lot of vulnerabilities doing web network and mobile testing, but my favorite is SQL injection. Uh, I'm most comfortable with, uh, with exploiting a SQL injection and, and it is fair paid, so I like that. It's always good if it's fair paid. <laughs> um, <Yeah. laughs> you, you mentioned that you spend a lot of time online throughout the day. Um, you use LaunchPoint Plus at Synac as your platform to submit your findings. What do you like most about LaunchPoint Plus and how does it help with your researching? Uh, I like LaunchPoint Plus because I'm sure that all my traffic will go through VPN uh, and um, it's Amazon workspace and it's uh, already uh, on well, connected to the platform, Synac platform. And uh, yeah, I will not get cut from VPN while I'm testing. So I'm quite sure that uh, data is safe and device is monitored, which makes me feel safer when I'm doing testing. So from, from your perspective, why would it be important for CISOs and customers that our researchers use LaunchPoint Plus? Uh, devices are ded dedicated only for CNAC testing. So uh, CNAC uh, SOC team constantly monitors traffic, monitors those devices. 
in traffic is encrypted, data is encrypted and secured. So, and the researcher will not cut from VPN while doing their, their testing and will not start sending traffic from their own v, their own IP. So, it's very moist, very moist, very well more secure. So, yeah. And it's, it's important to have that, you know, for reassurance. Um, so, what's your favorite thing about working as a freelancer full time? Uh, I like freedom and flexibility and working full time as freelancer gives me that option. That's why. <laughs> nice, nice. Very to the point. Um, <laughs> Ivana, you work uh, full time remotely as a freelancer, uh, which means obviously it comes with the, the perks that you mentioned. Um, you get to wear whatever you like. You don't have to wear a uniform. Are you the stereotypical uh, hacker who wears a hoodie all day? Uh, or do you wear something slightly more uh, formal? What do you like to do? Uh, I wear a hoodie. <laughs> Just now I wear a hoodie, but uh, sometimes I'm hacking in my pyjamas, so <laughs> depends. Living the dream, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> uh, a, lot, a lot of people have had to move to a remote setup recently. Um, how do you make sure that you maintain a successful workflow working remotely? Uh, it's important if you can work from your own space, quiet room, but if it's not like that, if it's not quiet, I'm listening to music on headphones and I used to work remotely and to be honest, I don't like to go to the office, <laughs> so it's uh, easier for me. There's a lot of people who don't like going to the office, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, so aside from the office, what are your hobbies outside of researching? What do you like to do in your spare time? Uh, I like to read about new technologies, posts regarding artificial intelligence, machine learning, robotics, neuroscience. And I like to watch videos about new achievements in the field of science. And I like to chat with my friends. Most of my friends are outside of Serbia. Some of them are in Belgrade. My brother is in Australia. Uh, and I like to hang with them in my free time. That's really nice to hear, you know, it's, especially now it's important to keep in touch with people um, yeah, right. online as well. <laughs> um, so, Ivana, you like meeting other uh, researchers. Have you been to any security conferences to meet them? Uh, every year I go to Balkan Hagi conference. It is in Novi Sad in Serbia. I go there with my friends and I have great time there. I didn't go to any hacking conference outside Serbia, and I would like to go to DEFCON and Black Hat in USA one day. I love hearing that the SRT members like to meet with each other at these events. Um, it's really important to build a community. Yes. Um, what, uh, what motivates you to do security researching? Is it the money or the SRT levels or successful exploitations? Uh, I'm not chasing SRT levels, so my motivation is successful exploitation and rewarding money. Uh, I like the feeling when I finally exploit some target and get reward for that in money, of course. <laughs> hey, everyone has their own motive. <laughs> <Right. laughs> um, where would you like to be in the next five years' time? Uh, I would like to continue doing pen test projects and, of course, with more knowledge and experience and maybe with some new certificate. So. Every, everything you like that I like now. So everything like now, just sort of a bit further, a bit more knowledge, all yeah. that researching and all that reading that you do in your spare time will be great for that, <laughs> I'm yeah. sure. Um, you clearly enjoy your job. Um, you're very enthusiastic about the benefits of working remotely and of the SRT. What advice would you give to other aspiring security researchers? For me, it's like a game. Uh, if you're the security researcher, you probably like what you are doing. It is constantly learning, lifetime learning, and you need to prepare for that. And when you get stuck in some point, finding vulnerability or, or exploiting or just researching, and you need to, I will say, try harder <laughs> and you yeah. will succeed. <laughs> yeah, no, just that. I think that's great advice. Um, this has been. Uh, great to get to know you. Thanks so much for taking us through a day in your life. Is there anything else you would like to say or anything you want to add to any of our security peers listening? Uh, I'm very happy to be part of the uh, Cinecred team and to work with such talented and amazing people. And uh, thank you guys for having me in this episode. <laughs> well, thank you very much for joining. It's been an absolute pleasure. And we're very fortunate to have you on our SRT uh, team. Um, 
Thank you for that, Ivana. We'll be back next time with another SRT interview soon. Um, and stay safe, everyone. Thank you. See ya. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.